Christmas, a Christian holiday that is celebrated around the world. Every country has its different traditions and habits for celebrating this wonderful holiday. Whether it is about giving or receiving presents, eating traditional food, or just spending time with family. But what kind of mysteries lie behind this festive holiday? And was it always this peaceful during this season of time? Don't worry, I'm here to reveal all the mysteries and stories for you to understand. I'm the Canvas Virtuoso. My job right now is to paint and color the image for you. Therefore, we can clarify all the vague pieces of information, put them into a big canvas. As a result, you can see a clear picture of all the painted matching pieces that you have missed. This is a special Christmas painting series where we dive into the dark tales that are often not spoken of during the festive seasons. Let's start the first Christmas story from our series, where we meet an enormous monster cat that devours children without any hesitation, depending on the condition of their clothes. The story of the Yule Cat. To get to our ferocious cat, we have to head to the cold Icelandic region, where this folklore was said to have originated. The Yule Cat, also known as Jola Koturin in Icelandic, is a creature from Icelandic folklore associated with Christmas. The Yule Cat is not a specific individual cat, but a mythical giant cat said to roam the countryside during the Christmas season. Yule Cat's appearance can vary, as it is a creature from folklore, and its depiction may differ across different sources. In general, the Yule Cat is often described as a large and menacing cat, sometimes depicted as being as big as a house. It's said to lurk in the snowy countryside during the Christmas season. In stories, it is described as huge and terrifying, with glowing wicked eyes, sharp whiskers, and claws. It is definitely one of the most disturbing creatures Icelanders believed in. The Yule Cat comes down from the mountains during Christmas time to sneak around in the dark of winter nights and look for its prey. Many stories say that the Yule Cat is the house pet of the ogress Grilla and her sons. The ogre family is said to be a group of mischievous creatures in Icelandic folklore. Her sons, or the so-called Yule Lads, or Jólas Vinar in Icelandic, are a group of pranksters during the Christmas season. The Yule Lads visit children on the 13 nights leading up to Christmas, starting on December 12th. Each Yule Lad has his own distinct personality and antics. Some of the Yule Lads are known for playing harmless pranks, while others are more mischievous. They are said to leave small gifts in the shoes that children place on windowsills during the nights of their visits. But if a child has been naughty, the Yule Lads might leave a potato instead. In Icelandic tradition, it was believed that those who worked hard through this year and completed their tasks before Christmas would be rewarded with new clothing. From something small like gloves, scarves, or pairs of socks, to heavier garments like a winter jacket or a coat. Every child would be deeply grateful to have something new to wear for the upcoming years. In contrast, those who didn't finish their task or postponed their duties after Christmas will get no presents at all and will end up with nothing under their Christmas tree. Children from less fortunate families still need to get new clothes. There is no exception to this rule. So poor mothers were desperately knitting or sewing little garments for their kids before Christmas night. But why do new clothes matter so much in the Icelandic region? Is it to prevent the cold, stormy weather during the season? No, it's because of the Yule Cat. When the clock hits midnight and Christmas starts, the ferocious monster cat wakes up from its deep slumber with an empty stomach and a voracious appetite. It comes out of its shelter in the mountains in search of something delicious to bite on. With its glowing big yellow eyes, razor sharp teeth and claws, it's ready to visit all the villages and towns. Snooping on the streets, peeking through the small windows, searching every possible spot in town to find its prey. Those who were prepared and got their new clothes before Christmas were spared. But for the unfortunate individuals who still have old clothes from the past few years will end up on the Yule Cat's menu. His favorites are lazy children, but adults are no exception to this. They can run, they can hide, they can fight back, but there's no chance of escaping the Yule Cat's grasp. But 
once it gets to you, it's over. It's gonna munch on your flash and fill its belly until it's full. It is believed that the Yule Cat's legend was used as motivation for farm workers to finish processing the autumn wool before Christmas. When they finished tasks given to them, they would receive new clothes from the farm owners and therefore would be safe from the evil cat. It is ironic to think about many kids nowadays being unhappy with clothes as Christmas gifts, isn't it? They'd often say grandma's socks, scarfs, and sweaters are boring compared to toys. But in Icelandic stories, you would literally die for those socks, or should I say, without them. This is the finished canvas of the Yule Cat. I'm the canvas virtuoso, your mysterious painter who is going to unveil all the mysteries of the world. For me to paint more stories, mysteries, and many more, I will need your support. Leave a like, subscribe, and comment. These actions will help me to improve and mean very much to me.